Hi, this is Jesse from Now You Know. Zach and I got to drive a few hours outside of London along with Tom Scott and Rich from Rich Rebuilds to Silverstone, England's premier raceway. It was there that I was going to get a chance to race against a real autonomous electric race car. So Jesse, you're getting a little excited oh, here. I'm ready, I'm well, ready to go. I'm ready to race. I had 12 hours of sleep. Uh, we're here at Silverstone. We're gonna get in a robotic race car. It's gonna drive me. I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna wow. win. <laughs> I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to drive a robotic, electric, fully electric race car. I'm. S- so what's the deal? It's gonna drive you first. Uh, I hope it drives me first, that way I get a little bit better lay of the land, but, uh, you know, I've driven Silverstone virtually many times, so, yeah, I'm excited. Alright, so we're here in the pits of Robo Race um, at Silverstone, and we're getting ready. I'm going to be driving in just a couple minutes. You can see behind me all the computers and stuff. Um, I am just so excited to <laughs> get racing, and I'm excited to be driven around. You know, as well as I can drive, I'm probably not going to be driving as well as this robot um, that I'm going to be sitting in. So, <laughs> so I'm going to be racing against Rich Rebuilds. Uncle Rich going to be uh, giving him a run for his money. Um, he didn't get any sleep last night. I made sure of that, but I got full 12 hours. So I'm going to be, you know, calm, relaxed, ready to ready to break, ready to hit those corners. I'm I'm. So excited. I'm so fortunate to be joined here with Tom Scott. Big, huge fan of Tom Scott. Yeah, he's he's literally standing right over there. It was time to suit up and get ready to race. There was a lot going through my mind, but I really wanted to make sure that I could beat Rich's time. And I loved wearing that racing suit. Yeah, I want some of these for Christmas. These are the new PJs. Ah. Belt. How does it look? Yeah. How'd that feel? <laughs> Good. Yeah. You look a little sweaty. Wait, I am sweaty. Just... He doesn't even know where his, which side to sit in. <laughs> hey, watch your head. <laughs> Alright, so Tom did his lap. Yep. And uh, Richie Rich is about to do his. And then I guess uh, you're taking up the rear there? Yeah, what? as long as he doesn't crash it. Alright. So, I mean... 50-50 chance? I'm giving him probably like, yeah, 25-30. Okay percent chance that he that he that he makes it oh that he makes it back yeah, yeah, yeah. okay uncle rich is loaded in the car i'm shooting for this number i'm shooting for the 131 okay uh if i can beat that what you're gonna get on the team or something yeah okay so, man, slow it. rich just went straight on did not turn him through one <laughs> okay R- so rich went rogue so, I mean, is he trying to steal a car? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he went He rogue. just missed it. Yeah, definitely he just rogue. completely yeah. whiffed the first, <laughs> whiffed the first turn. Wow. <laughs> big mistake. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty big barrier. So if you hadn't seen them, there would have been a pretty big crash. So what's going on, Justin? Uh, yeah, so after he screwed up his first... His first run, uh, he messed up his second one by not stopping on the line. I think Richard just had Oh, just to see how you could have possibly done <laughs> anymore. Good work. Nice. There was so much laughing yeah, going wow. on, Rich. So, Jesse, how come you're not in uh, that car over there? Because uh, Rich wasted that car, completely ruined it. I, I don't know what happened. I think he used all the battery. That's nice and tight. That feels so great. I want to go fast. <laughs> So this is Jesse on on the road. You can see him in this screen right here. This thing feels amazing.
Hopefully he's not doing as bad as Rich did. I think that would be quite hard to get your family. Wow, this is amazing. I mean, this car, it feels so good. I mean, I'm limited to 60 miles an hour, which is okay, but oh, this is so cool. I mean, you can really feel the G-Force. This feels completely different than driving anything else I've driven. There he is in the turn. Everything is so responsive. You can feel everything. It's amazing. Oh, I love this. Wow, looks like he had a pretty good lap. Okay, I'm stopped, I'm in neutral, and I'm not touching anything. Hey Jesse, this is Matt, launch you in AI. Are you happy to go? Sounds good. I'm ready when you are. Okay, copy that. So I'm going to allow AI to move now. I can confirm. Alright, hold tight. Three, two, one. Alright, so now this is the autonomous lap. <laughs> <laughs> it's driving me. All right, so I'm. This is the fast lap, and oh my goodness! Oh, I wasn't driving fast enough. That's for sure. Oh, I slowed down on that turn. This is amazing. I look at this. I'm in a car. It's speeding around a racetrack, and I'm not even using my hands. This is insane. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it makes a crazy sound when it slows down. That's amazing. Oh my god. I mean, I wish I could just record this through my eyes. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm in this car. This is amazing. So, I mean, I'm actually in a car that's driving itself around a racetrack. And I'm used to driving around in a car where you can see the lines, you know, and it's just in between the lines and that's all it's doing. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> the, oh, that's cool. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> wow. I don't think, oh my God, the seagulls. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Is the car doing the stop or me? Oh, I guess the car. Okay. Okay, bringing it back. Alright, this is the redemption run. I mean, I know that I need to take the pit, but still. Yeah, I mean, this feels amazing. Oh yeah, the pit. <laughs> Almost missed it. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was, this is a, that's a race car. Thank you. I feel great. I want one. That's different than the Model 3. <laughs> How'd I do? You did fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. You made the turns. <laughs> <laughs> that good photo oh, It's good luck. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> do you have any words for our Lord and Savior, oh. Elon Musk? <laughs> Make me one. Oh, if the Roadster's anywhere near that, being that low, Feeling the G's? You feel them. You feel them all. That's awesome. Nice. I was autonomous though. Mine broke, but the other worked. That was, yeah, of course it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't press any of the buttons. Yeah, what is this doing? You dingus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think go faster. I think I might have been DQ'd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. DN, uh, DNF. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I wasn't going fast enough in the manual lap. That's just made me appreciate how much faster you can go. 
I was like, oh, that's the level of G-forces you can push it to. Okay, I'm gonna go check my time. Yes! Look at that! Me, the car. Ooh, ooh, take that. That's like a full second and a half faster. Wait, no, no, no. What? Uh, 130. 14 to be second and a half. You're two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds. I'm two and a half seconds faster than the autonomous car. I mean, I think that that means that I get to be on the team. I really didn't think that I was going faster than the car because when it was driving me, it just felt like, I don't know, maybe because I wasn't in control, but <sighs> that's awesome. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I, I mean, I'll be honest, I almost didn't take that lap. I mean, the uh, the pit at the end, I was like, I'm yeah, ready to keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was I, like, oh yeah, pit. I, I nearly did that as well, but then I realized <laughs> that they could just stop the car remotely. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. They could just nope. hit a button and stop nope. everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then drive it back. Yeah. Yeah. I need I need bigger tires on my Model 3. I'm going to have to take it to, uh, take it to Rich's garage. <laughs> Rich, what can you put on, what kind of tires can you put on my car? So that I can make those turns like that. I want to feel those Gs. You could put uh, compound racing tires on it. But yeah, yeah, if you yeah. drive in the rain, you're toast. Yeah. If you drive when it's under 50 degrees, you're toast. Yeah, but and I mean, rich, rich, <laughs> rich, yeah. rich. Right. If I drive in the rain, now I'm toast. Yeah. I wore out my back tires long Already? ago. Already? Yeah, dude. Good in alignment? Uh, I know a place you can go to <laughs> for an alignment. After I got my chance to drive the DevBot, we were escorted up to a viewing gallery for a demonstration of the RoboCar. This is a fully autonomous race car with absolutely no room for a human driver. It was amazing to see something go so fast with absolutely no one controlling it. Look what I just spotted. The Robocar. Isn't that beautiful? So, I mean, with a normal race car, a lot of the car is dedicated to the person sitting inside. You know, you need the steering wheel, you need the pedals, you need a seat for them to sit in, you need all the harnesses. This does not have any of those compromises. Yes, you have that trunk down the middle with all the computers and all the batteries and everything like that. But other than that, it is just more of the car is devoted to racing. And that is the most important key. So, I mean, this thing is covered in sensors. I mean, I'm seeing cameras, I'm seeing ultrasonic sensors. Uh, there's LiDAR all over this thing. It's got uh, two GPS sensors, so it knows where it is at all time. So I'm here with my buddy Steven from Roborace, and uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about uh, where Roborace is headed, and I was quite intrigued with some of the things you said. Can you give our audience a bit of a glimpse into where Roborace might be going in the future? Absolutely, so um, it's basically Roborace is wanting to meld the motorsport world with the gaming world. Okay. There's uh, an interesting sort of space that we uh, inhabit, which is uh, a Venn diagram of, of technology and, and gaming and science and robotics and AI. We can create a uh, interactive world where a, a gamer can interact with a, a live robo car. Um, on the track through a stream. So you're sat at home, you're on the couch with your buddy and you're you're watching one of our robocars maybe here at Silverstone, maybe somewhere else in, in the US um, and you have enough credits uh, you can you can press you know something on switch or something on mixer and you can place an object in front of the car or you can make the car do an object avoidance around it. The object could be a DeLorean, it could be a, a Fortnite character, it could be anything of those things. But we're going to be moving to uh, the US next month. We've recently built an entertainment division to assist in that process. You know, we've hired in um, head of creative for you know, Top Gear and Fast and the Furious. You know, we're working with gaming engines. We're, you know, doing interesting things with VR. And Jesse and I talk about autonomous stuff all the time. That's our bread and butter. We've been talking about it for years. And yet today, when I was here and saw it live, it just more, just things just went off in my head that I didn't think could go off. I thought, like, I know everything about autonomous cars. But no, you don't. Until you see this thing, like, that no driver can get into, it's just, it blows your mind to yeah. see it moving on its own at high speed. I can't describe it. Like, how do you how do you describe it to people? This is the, the frontier. That's yeah. the, probably the best way to describe it for me. AI is very difficult to, uh, to tangibly quantify with a product. Mm -hmm. You know, we can talk about computers and quantum computing and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, you know, probably more of this than I do. Um, but we have an object here yeah. that is the 
epitome of AI. It's got an AI hatch, it's mm -hmm. got AI cameras, it's mm -hmm. feeding in data, it's understanding the environment, mm -hmm. it's going fast. Mm -hmm. This is AI and, and it's a robot. And kids love it, but it's tangible. You yeah. can touch it, you can feel it. It's, mm -hmm. it's great. And you're introducing it to people around the world. Like right. It, you're right. It, it's one of the first times you can really wrap your head around that phrase that we've all been using for years now, like AI, AI. Mm. But like, this is AI doing amazing, amazing things. Yeah, on steroids, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we recently um, uh, set to record, uh, set the fastest autonomous uh, car in the world record with Guinness. We want to go faster. The car can go faster. It knows it can go faster. It's already learned how to go faster. So um, by doing the, the fastest run, it, mm -hmm. can, it can adapt and change and understand it, what it needs to do to go even five miles an hour fast. It's one record. We want to win more, a lot more. Um, there's, there's so many out there that we can set for, uh, for, for autonomous driving. Um, we went to Goodwood recently, Festival Speed, mm -hmm. um, set the first official time from an autonomous car, which was you know nine seconds quicker than, than the Robocar, which was DevBot, so nine seconds quicker than this the previous year, so that's an improvement. So why are you guys working on autonomous driving? I mean, there's cars out there already that have it, like Teslas, right, that get you to work on the highway. So why develop this? Tesla and, and Waymo and, and, and a few of the others, they're testing around city streets at slow speeds, um, they're, they're learning over hours and hours of, of data pull. We're at the very sharp end of performance, um, so we're gonna get there quicker, and that's a whole business is sort of built around pushing technology to its limits to get there quicker to, to advance technology through speed. So we feel we are um, primed to do that at, the, at that frontier. All right, so after one of our last episodes, a lot of viewers contacted us and were like, what can these cars do in the future? Well. I'm asking you, what's the possibility in the future? Well, there's a whole myriad of, of, of amazing sort of uh, uh, events that we could do, and with th that's the really fun part of my job. It's, it's through it's to, to put a, ro a robot through its paces. Mm -hmm. What is possible is you know sending this uh, robocar you know upside down um, in in a tunnel, you know Men in Black style, you know <laughs> looping around uh, consecutively like a barrel, um, loop to loops potentially doing jumps over. Um, autonomous trucks, dumper trucks in, in, in quarries, it could be um, working with, with drones, it could be doing you know, Ken Block Jim Carners, it could be a, a whole, whole area that we want to kind of play around in the entertainment oh sphere. Oh my gosh, that sounds exciting. And that's just, you know, the uh, tip of the creative iceberg that we've sort of uh, unearthed, you know. It's I thought I had a good job. <laughs> you have an awesome job. The, yeah, the, the, the table discussions on what we what we wanted to do with the robots is, is quite fun, but wow. you know, yeah. Thank you so much, Stephen. <laughs> That's right. right. All right. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.